I'm gonna actually fly with these windows open, but if you stick your hand out, your hand is gone. Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm with Bob, and he's the president of Haas Museum and flies this absolute beast behind us. Hey Bob, how's it going? Good, thank you. All right, Bob, what is this aircraft? Well, it's a Lockheed Neptune Maritime Bomber, yeah. a former 10 Squadron RAAF that on April Fool's Day 1988, my secretary's husband and I decided, why not? We'll give it a go. And uh, it's a bit of a miracle to most people, but we've been flying it ever since. I see it's got a jet on the side of it. So yeah. it's got propellers and a jet. Tell us a bit yeah. about that. It has, it's got two R3350 radial engines, 18 cylinders, 3,750 ah. horsepower. It's a beast. And then it's got two J34 jet engines. So we have a four engine aircraft effectively. We can take it without the jets, but we always take off with the jets running. Is it just jets on one time or are they on at both times? We ships all the time. The jets are an auxiliary power plant. So we have them on when we take off or if we need them for roaring into an attack somewhere. So you can do some vertical aerobatics? Oh, uh, well, yes, <laughs> but it would be illegal. But they're very, very aerobatic type aeroplane, really, because on the submarine hunt program that they had, they've got spoilers on the wings, so you can do a very, very steep turn to get back onto a submarine after wow. you've had the initial run on it. How long does it take for someone just to train from just basic piloting knowledge to maybe fly one of those? Yeah, it's a pretty complex aircraft. We have multi-crew on board and uh, it's probably one that you need to have a fair bit of twin engine experience before you go onto the Neptune. We work as a team. I'm training some Qantas pilots on it at the present time. Uh, as a team aeroplane, it's pretty good, but um, it is a pretty complex aircraft to fly. Yeah, so it's got both radial engines and a jet engine. Yeah. So does that mean you have to have Jet A1 fuel on board along with Avgas? The jet engines work on Avgas as well, so they're all plumbed into the same system. Oh, wow. Pretty jet yeah. engines are run on uh, pig swill and, uh, and scotch if you've got enough of it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So they work pretty well on the Avgas that works on the piston engine, so we don't have a separate system. How do you just acquire such a beast? We acquired on April Fool's Day 1988, which is uh, some symbolic. People didn't think we could ever keep it going and flying it. Well, here it is, uh, 2025, and we, we're still operating. But when I was growing up, my brother and I and my father were fishing in Tugra Lakes, and we were about 10, and, and uh, a Neptune flew low level over us when we were fishing in the lake. And uh, so I've had a passion for Neptunes ever since I was a little boy. In fact, in Haas now, we have five. We have wow. uh, one I flew in from Tahiti and another one we rescued. There was an ex Air Force one and uh, we have that on static display down at uh, Haas. And then we acquired two others, which wow. we got them based at our Parks Aviation Museum, one Peter V5 and another sister ship to this one, 272. It led to the Super Constellation because I was getting spare parts for the Neptune and there was a derelict Super Constellation in America. And uh, long story, but I flew that out to Australia in 96 and we've been flying that ever since as well. From there, we have Catalina, which is the predecessor to these things, and then our P3 Orion, which we fly as well. So we're pretty obsessed with uh, Lockheed products and uh, maritime stuff. So obviously this has jet engines, and you think when you think jet, you think fast. So is this aircraft fast? It certainly is. At low level, below 10,000 feet, it's as fast as any jet can go, because uh, they're limited to 250 knots below 10,000 feet. Yeah. But we can push this up to 350 knots, which is as fast as the P3 Orion goes low level, and also these uh, other new maritime jets. So it is pretty quick, but we can fly with the hatches open down the back, but as long as you don't put your head out there, you're okay. Yeah. All right, before your son gives me a cockpit tour in this beast, if you had to pick one aircraft in Haas, what would be your favorite aircraft? That's a very difficult question. <laughs> because uh, obviously the, the uh, Neptune looks like it was the first one that we acquired, but it wasn't a Canberra bomber that we have. Yeah. And then that led to the Neptune, and then it led to the Super Constellation and another Neptune. And they got together and they started to breed. Now we've got 70 aircraft in our museum. Whoa. And from all of that, if, you, if I uh, had to select any of them, I think I'd be offending some of the volunteers we've uh, recruited. So the Southern Cross over here, and the Caribou and the C-47 and all the other aircraft would uh, take offence to me choosing anyone particularly. But obviously I fly this and uh, the Super Constellation. So I guess uh, I've got a pretty uh, 
attachment to the Neptune because it started everything. So yeah. it's the uh, grandfather of the whole fleet. Thank you so much for this short interview and hope to see you around again. Okay, pleasure. Thank you very much. Now I'm with Matt, Bob's son, and he's going to be able to give me a special tour on board this awesome aircraft.